Hey everyone, um, I'm, I'm sending this out from Boston, I can't talk. Um, so, I learned a couple things while I was here. Number one, Bostonians really like their Dunkin' Donuts, uh, because they're everywhere. There was literally like four, like, it's like Starbucks in New York City, it's like Dunkin' Donuts here, it's ridiculous. Um, number two, don't eat donuts outside in the open. And number three, seagulls are vicious. Um, yeah, so I was walking to the um, to the tea station to go down to Fenway to go shopping because I was bored and I um, was eating a donut and I'm walking and I hate birds as it is. Like I hate pigeons. I hate, I never liked having pet birds or anything. So I'm walking and I wasn't eating, I wasn't eating my donut yet. I'm just walking and the seagulls are like flying really close to me like like here's my head and they're literally like flying right here and I'm like ducking and going all crazy and people th probably thought that I was insane and then um I get right in front of the tea station and I'm looking at the map trying to figure out where I'm going and I'm eating my donut and all of a sudden boom side of my head a seagull just comes out of nowhere and it hits me like it winged me like hit me with the wing it winged me it's my new term it winged me in the side of the head and like my hand was here and it like went this way. It went right over my hand and I was like, holy shit. And I threw my donut and I just ran into the tea station screaming, the seagulls are attacking me. Um, yeah, so that was my day. Um, yeah, so Spring Awakening audition. I um, got in at about 11 last night. My flight got in. I took a taxi here. I got in about 11.45 and I went out to get some pizza because I was hungry. Um, Went to bed at like one in the morning, woke up at six, and it took me an hour and a half to shave and get dressed. Like I didn't even shower because I knew that if I was going to, because sh I showered yesterday morning, and I knew that if I was going to shower, it would just take me another 45 minutes because I was just so exhausted. It took me an hour and a half to shave and get dressed. Oh, and I checked my email and that's probably what took most of that time, and I made tea. So I go downstairs and I get in line at about 7.30 and I'm like, I was surprised because there weren't that many people there. And then this big limo pulls up and everyone's talking about how MTV was gonna be there. And we're all like, MTV is gonna be here? Are you serious? I might as well just go home right now because this is gonna be ridiculous. And so then um, the limo pulls up and it was the casting agents and it was a woman and her assistant. And I don't remember their names, but they were so nice. And so kind and they were like they would they said hi to all of us and they asked how we all were and they were just very very nice women and I like not to be stereotypical but I just didn't expect them to be so nice dealing with like this many kids and college age and high school age and all these young kids like I didn't think for them to be that nice and like cooperative and talkative and they were just so nice and so sweet and so um, they took the first, I think, 27, 28 people up. We had to wait outside. <laughs> and I'm in the Beacon Hill Hotel right now, which is where the audition is. And what was, I mean. And I'm here, and I was staying here. And so I had to go all the way outside and wait outside in the snow and rain. I was underneath, um, like, the lip of the building. That's why I didn't get wet. But there were people around the corner that didn't have umbrellas. Um, and they were getting drenched. But um, so then we went up. I was standing there and I was with this woman who I was talking to and she was really sweet. She's like the best mom ever. Her son was doing NETCs um, tonight, the night, like the night of the audition for Spring Awakening. So he was in the rental car across the street sleeping and she was waiting in line in his place and she was just so sweet and um, they came out and they gave us the numbers and they took like, the first 27, 28 people up and then one of the casting directors went up with them and the, uh, the her assistant was down with us. And we were talking to her. We were like, what's this about MTV doing here, being here? She was like, no, 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 no. MTV is not here. Their show is Legally Blonde. <laughs> MTV has Legally Blonde. They're not here. And we were like, thank God MTV is not here. And then they handed out numbers, and I was number 32. So I was excited. I wasn't number 458 like I was at Spelling Bee. And um, we go up, and we get the little FAQ 
FAQ shit. It's just like asks, it's like, it's like normal questions. Like what do, what do I have to prepare? How, how do callbacks work? Do I have to join equity? Stuff that like, stuff that theater kids know, but just high school kids that just found Spring Awakening on a whim. Like how most kids found Rent in the late 90s. You know, like they don't know. They just wanted to audition, so they didn't really know how it worked. So it was an FAQ sheet, and it, and then we signed in, and then they took. I really liked this part. There were two cat. There was a casting director and her assistant, like I said, and so they split it up. So the one was in one room, and the other woman was in another room, and they were across the hall, like down the hall from each other, and they took us in groups of twenty, and they split it in half, and so ten went to the casting director, and ten went to her assistant. And um, so I was number 32, so I was in the second group of 20 to go. And the other, the casting director was whipping them out, like, real fast. Like, she got through her 20, her 10 fast. And when we got in line, she was only on number, I think, six. Because um, she was, like, she was asking people to redo their song a different way or sing in a different way. And some people, like, I know myself, I messed up and I had to start over again. And she, like, there were several people that started over again. At least everyone in front of me sang their song twice. Um, and it was just, she was so sweet. And the accompanist was so sweet. And she was good. She could play and she was great. Like, I know my song wasn't complicated. And I've had complicated songs and auditions before. But she, like, she was really good. And she was just really nice. And afterwards, I sang Jason Mraz. I sang Did You Get My Message? And she was like, I really love Jason Mraz. And I was like, yeah, me too. Me and my best friend call him Jason mm, Raspberry. And then she's like, oh, well, thank you, Robert. Thank you. And I was like, thank you. And then I left the room. I didn't get called back. Um, they were handing out sides at the audition. And then they were um, and then they were supposed to call people tonight to come in to sing and read tomorrow. And I was not called. So I was like, eh, another audition under my belt. But, um, I, and then I went to see a show, um, actually, his name is Will Larch. He goes to Boston Conservatory, nine, um, nine original songs, and then he did also, he did two, um, um, encore songs. And it was, it was like, it was the first time that I've ever had, in a long time, that I've had lyrics that speak spoke to me and that I could connect to. I was like, wow, I've done that. I've lived that. I know exactly what that's like. Oh my God, I know exactly what that's like. And it was just really cool. So I shot him an email when I got back um, to my hotel just now, tell him that I really liked his show and I liked what he had to say. And I was just really, I really enjoyed it. And I got to see my friend Alana, um, who I haven't seen since um, senior year. Yeah, senior year of high school, she did a, um, at the end of her, we were, we're the same year, and she goes to Boston Conservatory, and we, um, she did a, uh, a cabaret for her, like, it was her senior, it was like her graduation party, she did a cabaret, and she sang, and there was like a little get together afterwards, and it was a lot of fun, and so I haven't seen her since then, so I haven't seen her since 05, and um, so it's been three years, and she looked good, she lost a lot of weight, and I unfortunately found it. Um, but she looked great. It was a great time. I missed her a lot. I just missed her sense of humor. She's, she has like the same kind of dry, crazy sense of humor that I do. Um, we talked about how much we hate birds and shit, but yeah, my time's getting low on here. I don't have much time left. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Alana and this guy Will Larch. I guess that's how you pronounce his last name. Larch, Larch, one of the two. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah so it was a really good show it was a really good time and i met some cool people and i talked to a lot of people that saw the show multiple times and just all these really nice things and it was really good trip and i've learned a lot and it's made me look at stuff like i have a different perspective on life and a different perspective on training not just from my audition but just from like his lyrics and stuff that he said and stuff that people I've heard people say and just I have a different outlook and I realize that I have to change things in my life um so kind of get on that so I hope you guys if you guys went to the Boston audition um if you saw, didn't see me I'm sorry if you did and were too shy to say hi don't be because I'm nice I'm cool I swear um so 
have a good night, you guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Maybe at another audition, or maybe just on here.